Hello Taurus viewers, I know I've been gone for a while, but I am back now, and I'm still doing private readings as well, so if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box, that email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com, and I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute reading where I'll go in depth and answer your questions. All right, so let's see what the cards want to say. Let's see what the gist of this reading is. It's pretty much just whatever wants to come out, whatever messages your spirit guides have for you right now. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance. We have love, unconditional love. Oneness, passion, healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. Let's look more into the seduction energy. Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern. Mask, not showing true feelings. Deluding, gaslighting. Clarity, truth, revelation. Okay, so most of you guys that have watched me in the past know that I don't really... Like, I'll try to... Sh I'll... I'll try to deliver the messages in a gentle way but I don't really sugarcoat things you know sometimes you guys do get kind of harsh messages and this isn't really a bad it's not really a, a negative message necessarily and I'm just going to confirm with the pendulum is this is this saying that there might be an ex coming back around yes okay so I feel like a lot of you are trying to manifest new love. It looks like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself because we have stability, security, growth, flexibility. It's, it's kind of like you're going through a spiritual awakening right now or you're on the verge of that spiritual awakening. It's like you're just you're opening up. I feel like your mindset is changing. You're starting to see multiple perspectives. You're starting to look back on the past and you're understanding why certain things had to happen the way that they did. Um you know, you have your confidence is growing, you have unconditional love for yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys are doing a lot of manifestation work. Now, this could be with binaural beats, this could be with um, just general, I feel like your vibration is raising, basically, I feel like you're getting to that next level. I feel like you just went through either a dark night of the soul, or just a, um, a toxic relationship, some kind of heartbreak here that you're healing from right now. Um, but it feels like you're on a higher vibration. It feels like you, you're, you're looking at those relationships and you're looking at old patterns that you might have in certain relationships and you don't want to repeat those patterns. You've, you've finally gotten to that place where you've really learned what you do and don't want, um, in a person, in a romantic relationship and just out of life in general, you know, you're doing a lot of healing. You're freeing yourself from, toxic people, toxic patterns, toxic addictions. Um, unfortunately, I do feel like someone is going to come back around to try to seduce you and try to take you out of this energy. And I think that I honestly think that you're a few steps ahead of this person. I, I think that you're going to have karmic justice here. Now, I think this is probably somebody who was very neglectful, very emotionally unavailable, detached, maybe cold. I'm getting like a king or queen of swords kind of energy from this person. It's just somebody, I, I get somebody that plays a lot of mind games, somebody who is a bit manipulative. I also feel like it's somebody who just kind of wants what they can't have. They, they like the chase. Um, if, if somebody, it's, it, this is the type of person that just, they take their friends for granted. They take their family for granted. They, it's kind of like self-sabotaging patterns, but they don't even really realize that they're doing it. It's like, they're just trying to get to that next level. You know what I mean? It's like nothing ever is good enough for them. Basically, you know, like they could have a best friend that supports them and helps them out financially and mentally, and is always there for them, and they're going to find some reason to sabotage it. They're going to find some excuse, you know, like, oh, this this person, you know, couldn't possibly be this good. I bet they're going to end up being toxic, or I bet they're going to, I bet they're going to betray me somehow. It's like this person can't just accept blessings. It feels like this person just kind of takes abundance um, for granted. They take people for granted, and they're always looking for the next best thing. You know, it's it's never enough. And I feel like 
it's kind of a mixed energy I get because on one hand, it it does feel like self-sabotage where it's like they tell themselves, you know, this person's probably not as good as they seem like they are or they're they're probably going to hurt me anyway. So I, you know, it's, it's best for me to just end this friendship or end this connection now. But on a more selfish level, partially, it's, it's also just them wanting to have their cake and eat it too. It's like they just always want more. They're never satisfied. This person has a lot of inner work to do, but they don't want to do that inner work. So they just end up projecting onto other people and just, you know, always blaming everyone else for their problems. It doesn't matter how perfect the people in their life are. And this person probably has a pattern like this is someone that when you met them, you probably they probably told you all about how their exes were crazy and dramatic and their exes did this and their exes did that. And then, you know, you probably believed it at first. You probably, you know, held space for them and you had empathy. But it's like as you got to know this person you kind of realize that was an illusion. You realize that there was, you know, there's two sides to every story. But anyway, I feel like you've done, I feel like you're healing from this. You're like, you're freeing yourself from this. You're, you're loving yourself unconditionally. You're, you're growing, you're, you're opening your mind up and you're looking back on this person in a different perspective and you're not willing to go back to that old energy. And I feel like this person I almost feel like it's a karmic test for one thing. I feel like you've been asking for new love. You've been manifesting new people. You're like, okay, I've, I've learned my karmic lessons. I've, I've realized that I have to set stronger boundaries. I have to find a balance in my life. I um, can't give so much of myself to toxic people. Like, you, you know, you're recognizing that. You're looking at the, at the patterns. You're looking at that energy and... You don't want to be any in any more one-sided relationships or friendships or even with family. You know, you want that balance now. You're you're seeing where, you know, you're seeing where you went wrong, where other people went wrong. You're taking accountability, but you're you're finding that balance and you're opening your mind up. And it almost seems like a karmic test where it's like you're asking for new love, for new friendships. And I feel like your spirit guides want you to, they, they want you to really break that pattern once and for all. So it's kind of, you're going to have a chance to basically tell this person no is what I'm feeling. You're going to have a chance to, to basically have justice. It's it's like the ball is in your, going to be in your court for a change. I feel like with this person that was kind of toxic, it's like they were always the one in control. They knew how to manipulate you. But I think that they did it in such subtle ways that you might not have even, re it's like your, your, your uh, intuition, like you just, your body, like you didn't feel right around them. Like something about them was giving you some kind of anxiety. It's like something just felt off. And, you know, narcissists are, in, this isn't, this person's not a narcissist for everybody. For some of you, yes, they are, but not for all of you. But I mean, people like that are very charming, you know, so it might be one of those situations where it's like everybody loved this person. And you just felt like something was off, like something wasn't right. Because it's like people like that will manipulate you in very subtle ways. They'll gaslight you in very subtle ways. So it's like you can't really, they do that to trap you. So it's like you can't really act out. You can't, you can't say anything because they do it in such a subtle way that it's like you just kind of, it, it's like they trap you over, over time. It's like, what is that? Um, I forget what the, what the saying is about like the, you know, if you if you put a frog in boiling water, of course, they're going to jump out right away. But if you put a frog in water and you slowly, slowly raise the temperature before they know it, they're too exhausted to jump out of that pot. And that's that's how you how you kill the frog, basically. So it's it's kind of one of those situations where this person knows they're they're really um, experienced when it comes to psychology, to psychological, psychological manipulation. They know how to slowly get someone to to do what they want and to gain that control over somebody and it just feels like since you've been working on yourself you might have even just cut and cleared this person like for those of you that are witches maybe some of you actually cut the cords on this person or you just put the intention in like I don't want this person back and um it feels like this person's going to try to seduce you it feels like this person's going to 
feel that energy shift, they're going to realize because, you know, we have these red cords that connect us to people that, you know, like soulmates, people that we've loved, people we've been close to. And this person's going to realize that those cords aren't attached anymore. They're, they're going to, it, it, it's like this person's going to try to tap into your energy, try to almost use you as like an energy source. And they're going to recognize that you're not there anymore. You're not around anymore. I think for a lot of you, this person thought that you would be right where they left you. I think that for a lot of for a lot of you, I feel like you chased this person for a long time. Like you just gave to them and gave to them and gave to them. And it was a very one sided relationship. Like if you look at like your messages, I feel like it was probably mostly you talking to them and they were, you know, kind of just not not saying much or they, they were playing it cool, you know, like they just weren't giving you you know, some of them might have like loved bomb, love bombed you and then, you know, taken their energy back. But for others, I just feel like it was like they were just distant. They knew they would give you these little breadcrumbs to keep you holding on. And then it's like they would pull that energy back away from you. And it's, it's, it was very, I feel like mentally traumatizing, very confusing for you. You didn't know if this person had feelings for you or not. And your spirit guides want you to understand too that it's nothing that you did wrong. I mean, it's this person's own insecurities. It's it's not like this person's going to be any different with somebody else. This person is going to play the same games with other people. They're going to be just as insecure with other people. It's it's just them not wanting to deal with themselves, not wanting to actually heal themselves and do the work. You know, so there's there's not really anything that you could have done differently. But but yeah, it, it just feels like they're going to feel the energetic shift. Um, like I was saying, sorry, sometimes when I channel, I get off on a little tangent. But to go back to what I was saying, I, I feel like, you know, you guys have been doing the healing work. And I feel like in the past, maybe you guys had a pattern where it's like this person might leave for a little bit and then they would come back and give you like a, hey, how are you? I've missed you message. And, you know, they would just kind of just test the waters and, and see if you were still open to them. And I feel like a lot of you would like you, you'd put yourself out there all over again. You'd 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 go through this traumatic cycle of opening your heart up and having your heart broken by this person and like shutting down and not knowing what to do and then opening up again when they come back around. And I feel like this person thought that you guys would just always be in that pattern. I feel like this person really thought that they could just put you on hold as like a backup plan almost. And, and for some of them, you know, they might, for some of them, they might've even loved you in their own toxic way. And they might have just thought like, oh, I'm not ready to date or I'm not ready to settle down. So I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go explore and do my own thing. And when I'm ready, when I'm older, when I'm ready to settle down, I'll come back to this person and, you know, I'm sure they'll still be there. Or for others, it's like they kind of, you know, had you as like a backup option where they wanted to see what else was out there or they just wanted to be single, you know, someone with like some commitment issues, emotional unavailability. And so you guys were in this pattern, this kind of karmic cycle with them for a while. And I feel like this time when they try to come back around, though, they're going to have a rude awakening because this is going to be the you change things up on them. You've been focused on yourself instead of, I feel like this last time around, instead of, they might've done the same crap that they've done before, or they might've just, you know, abandoned you again. And I feel like this, this time around, instead of just being heartbroken and being patient with them, I mean, I feel like you were sad over it, but I feel like you kind of, to some degree made the decision, you know, that I'm, that you're not, even if you love this person, that you're not going to wait around for them anymore, that you're not going to put yourself through this anymore. And, and yeah, like I said, this person just thought that you'd be right where they left them. They thought that they could just, you know, if, if nothing else better was out there, they could just come right back to you and just pick up right where you left off. And so you're going to have an opportunity to end this karmic cycle with, um, with people like this in general, and you might have a long history of dating people that are like this, where it's one-sided connections. But I think, um, especially with this person, you know, you, you have a chance to end this because they're going to come back. Now that they feel, they, energetically, they're starting to feel it. I think at first they were almost so cocky and so sure that you just would love them forever and that you would just never go anywhere, that I think their intuition almost didn't kick in. Like they just didn't, they didn't feel like they had anything to worry about, even though you're pulling back their energy. It's like they just didn't, 
it didn't hit them until recently. And now they're like, oh, wait a minute, like this part, like you haven't messaged them lately or you haven't posted on a social media to get their attention or, you know, they just in general, they just don't feel your energy. They don't feel, you know, they're not feeling you thinking about them all the time or wondering what they're doing. They're, they're feeling you're, you're like on this level up, you know what I mean? Like they feel your glow up. They feel that you're more confident. They feel like you're focused on yourself. You're prioritizing yourself. You're setting your boundaries. You're, you're ending this this pattern with this person. So yeah, they're going to try to come back around. They're going to try to seduce you, possibly love bomb you for some. Um, and I mean, even though it's kind of a stressful energy, I'm sure it's actually kind of a good thing in the long run, because you have a chance to end this karmic cycle. Because like I said, for some of you, it's like, you're asking the universe for new love. And so the universe is going to bring this person in to like, see if you're really truly committed to what you're asking for. And they want you to have karmic justice too. They want you to have that power. They want you to say no to this person. I feel like that's like the the final nail in the coffin. You know what I mean? It's 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 giving you, you're taking your power back from that person. Because we have breakup here, separation. And you're seeing them through the mask. You know what I mean? Like you're, this is like pretending, gaslighting, not showing true feelings. It's like you're, you're not, you're not, you're not going back to that. There's truth and clarity. So you might also have a tower moment with this person where you might realize some things. And I'm sorry to say that, but you might, this is just for those of you that are in this energy group. But for some of you, you honestly might find out that this person was cheating on you. You might find out that this person had, um, a drug addiction or a sex addiction or gambling. You might find out that this person, was I'm um, for for someone I I feel like flirting with your with your friend behind your back, um, I hate to I hate to give readings like this. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. You know, this is what I'm channeling. So I've got to tell you guys the truth. You know, just to kind of like ment kind of mentally prepare you. But it's it's this truth isn't to. Is so that you can wrap it. It's it's good. It really it doesn't feel good in the moment. I'm sure. But it's, it's so that you can feel confident that you made the right choice. I feel like you already know that you don't want this person. That I think you already have kind of seen through them. But it, this is just going to kind of solidify that. It's going to, you're going to be like, okay, my intuition was right. Like, I knew this person was cheating and they gaslit me into telling me they weren't. But like, I knew something was off. It's like, you know, sword in the rose. It's clarity, truth, revelations. You know, and also just, and you're being divinely guided and protected. And you're just, you're taking your power back. Cassette, let's see what else we have here. Sorry, I didn't end up doing a tarot reading for you, but I just, I primarily channel and all the information came out through these cards. But if you subscribe to me, I will be doing more in-depth readings um, with, you know, tarot, oracle cards. Um, I'll be doing more love readings as well. So, so yeah, if you subscribe to me, I'm sure the next reading will most likely be tarot. Outdated thinking, overplaying events narcissist one-sided relationship yeah it's it's just kind of confirming it's like you're learning from the past your perception is changing you're you're not aligning with that anymore you're not aligning with you're, you're not going to be attracted to abusive people anymore and I feel like I mean I don't want to say they won't be attracted to you because it's like there's that that quote I think it was like a meme or something I saw on social media I think it was saying like you know, narcissists will go to anybody. They'll go, they don't care. You know, you're good, you're bad. It's, it's like, they'll go to everybody. But the issue isn't them coming to you. The issue is you allowing them to stay. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if you have your boundaries up and you're just not even resonating with that energy, the minute you meet someone like that, it's like your, your body's going to feel off. Like you're not going to feel comfortable around them. You're just not, you're not even going to be attracted to them. You know what I mean? And that's that's that point you're coming to where you had to go through this to get to that point where you're just not even interested in these people. And for some of you, separation. Yeah, this person's going to be heartbroken. You're you, all the all the um you were so heartbroken over this person in the past and they're going to feel all of that. There's karmic justice here. It's like all that pain that they caused you, they're going to feel that tenfold. 
they're going to feel all that pain. They're going to feel what it's like to lose you. They're going to have these epiphanies that you're the right person for them and that they, you know, did love you in their own toxic way, but it, it's going to be too late. You're not going to resonate with them. You're not going to want them back in your life. It's, it's just, it's not going to mean anything to you at that point. You know what I mean? They're just going to be just another person to you. Um, and some people, because like I see a lot of people that are like wondering where their person is or like why have I been through all these relationships and like all these toxic relationships, like, like when am I ever actually going to finally find my true love? The thing is that like your spirit guides do want you to have love and to be happy. Like your spirit guides don't want to see you, un un you know, unhappy. Like they do want what's best for you. They do want good things for you. The thing is, though, if you've been through a lot of childhood trauma, and sometimes we do have soul contracts to go through certain things to learn certain lessons, but, you know, the, the, the other side of that is sometimes that childhood trauma can make us attracted to certain types of people. So, so it's like they can't really bring that new love into you if you're going to, like, friend zone that person. You know what I mean? Like, if you're asking for somebody who's treats you like a queen or treats you like a king and they're just all over you and they spoil you and you and they love you you know years ago or even like a like a year or two years ago before before all this energy it's like you might not have resonated with that you might you might want that but like subconsciously you might have felt like like you might have sabotaged it you might have felt like it was just too good to be true or just seeing the person as a friend like you just not resonating with that energy um, feeling like there's got to be like, it couldn't possibly be this easy. It couldn't possibly be this simple, you know, or you might feel like the relationship was like boring because it's, it was more stable and maybe you were, you were used to fights and used to drama with people. Um, you know, and that's okay. Like we all, you know, like everyone has those like patterns, those subconscious patterns, but the beautiful thing is now that you're seeing them, you're, you're taking off the mask and you're looking at these patterns and you've got the ax here and you're, you're, you're ending these cycles, you know that you don't want that anymore. And I feel like this person was like that final, that, that, you know, that was like the last step in this, this karmic cycle that you've been in. But yeah, you're going to have justice. This person is, is going to be sad over you. And when you wrap up all this energy, I feel like you actually finally are going to be manifesting somebody that is going to treat you well, that, that is going to spoil you and love you and be supportive of you. Because like I said, you're going to be resonating with that energy. It's You're not going to sabotage it or just see them as a friend. You're you're becoming more and more confident every day. You're, you're you know, getting into that um, empress or emperor mode. And, and so you're on a higher vibration and you're, you're in your power. And so you're going to be manifesting that person that's going to match your energy because you have these strong boundaries and you're just you know, the, the people, the kind of people that you're attracted to is changing. So you're going through a major life transition right now, um, which can be a little scary, but ultimately it really is for your highest good. It is for the best. It is going to make you happy and bring about abundance in the long run. So um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. As I said, if you'd like a private reading, my email is below in the description box. That is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And please like and please share and please subscribe. I'm trying to get YouTube to promote my video get videos again and get back in the algorithm since I've been off for so long. But anyway, thanks.